For over 1,000 years, gold mining has been central to Ghana's economy, and artisanal and small-scale gold mining ASGM operations have contributed significantly to Ghana's gross domestic product, making this activity an important source of livelihood for miners and their dependents. ASGM has grown rapidly over the last few decades due to an increase in the price of gold, making it a lucrative source of income for a large part of the Ghanaian population. ASGM is often characterized by poor mining practices such as a lack of PPE and contamination of the surrounding environment and water bodies. Miners excavate gold wherever the seam is located and often use mercury to extract the gold from the ore. They then openly heat the mercury to drive off mercury from the gold and mercury amalgam. The miners inhale toxic mercury vapor and the mercury pollutes the atmosphere, soil and waterways while contaminating staple food sources. It also exposes miners and their communities to severe health risks, including kidney dysfunction, delayed infant development, reproductive challenges, gum inflammation, nausea, and brain damage. Unsafe mining practices also result in avoidable injuries from falling objects, exposure to extreme temperatures, and tunnel collapse. Responsible mining practices protect miners and communities by improving working conditions, addressing social and environmental challenges, and increasing wages. In 2017, Ghana ratified the Minamata Convention, a global treaty to protect human health and the environment from the adverse effects of mercury pollution. The Minamata Convention includes a ban on new mercury mines, the phase-out of existing mercury mines, control of airborne mercury emissions, and releases to land and water bodies, and the regulation of informal ASGM. To safeguard the health and security of mining communities and miners themselves, miners can reduce the use of mercury in ASGM through alternative methods of gold extraction, such as sluices, centrifuges, and shaking tables. They can further purify the gold ore using direct smelting, and if they continue to use mercury to extract the gold, they can use retorts to recapture the mercury and prevent it from contaminating the air, water, and soil. A well-managed ASGM ecosystem is the responsibility of all Ghanaians and will help us provide for our people and secure the welfare of future generations. This video is brought to you by the U.S. Department of State and the Reclaims ASGM Implementing Partners, the Fund for Peace, the West African Network for Peacebuilding Ghana, and the University of Mines and Technology.